Hey guys, it's Rich Man. So I know most of you out there own a Fire Stick or Fire TV. That's probably why you're watching this channel. But if you also own an Android box or any other streaming box that has an HDMI output, you've probably been wanting some kind of DVR function. Now you can probably watch just about anything you want live or, or streaming on demand, right? But maybe there's some things, um, you know, like a football game or, or some live TV or even a show that you uh, that you don't have time to watch or mess around with trying to find a link for it. You just want to record it. You want to watch it on your own time. I'm going to show you something today that works great with all streaming devices that have an HDMI output. It's called the Alliance Cloner Box Pro. Here's the box that comes in right here. And I'm going to show you how it works. This thing is magic. Now it's very easy to set up and very easy to use because I'll tell you one thing. If I can do it, I know you can do it because I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let me show you this little box. I have it right here. So this is the actual cloner box. I'll put these remotes down. So it's not very large in size, but what you do is you plug your Fire Stick. I have my Fire TV running directly into the HMI input, HDMI input right here. And right here, it's connected directly to my TV, uh, HDMI input on my TV. You can run it to your computer monitor if you'd like, but when, you know, whatever you hook it up to, it's gonna show it to you on the screen here. It's a pass-through, so it's gonna show you exactly um, what's coming through. Whatever the quality is, it just passes right through. Now, it does have power, and I also have a USB flash drive coming out of the side here. That's because it doesn't have any internal storage. You have to have something plugged in here, some kind of storage to record with. Now you probably have a bunch of those laying around your house right now, but they're very, very inexpensive and you can pick them up at Walmart or, or any discount store very cheaply these days. So here's how it works. It comes with this remote. It also comes with several cables. You've got an HDMI to HDMI cable. And this is really cool. It's got one of these, which has all your composite and component cables on it and an HDMI output. So with this, you can take those old VCR tapes and digitize them, which is a really nice feature. Okay, so here's how it works. The first time you use it, what you want to do is plug your USB drive into the side before you power it up. Then power the unit up, give it about 10 or 15 seconds to recognize the drive. And then what you're going to do is hit the playback button on your remote. It actually says playback right there. So we're going to hit that and this screen is going to come up. Now right here you'll see that my USB 2.0 is connected. Uh, you can see that the, the icon is blue. If it's gray and it doesn't have a name on it, it's, or it says no name or something like that, then it's not connected. What you want to do is you want to power the unit off, just unplug it, take your USB flash drive out, put it back in again, power it up again. Again, give it about 10 or 15 seconds. Come back up to this screen and see if it's connected yet. If it's not connected, then it's not going to work. So make sure it's properly formatted for one thing. It has to be formatted in FAT32. The other thing is if you power this up the first time and you get a black screen, very easy fix for that. There's a source button right on the front. You just press and hold that down for about 10 seconds. It restarts the unit and then your screen will come up. It's a very easy fix. So here we are on the on the uh, on the basic playback screen. So what I'm going to do is hit the back arrow here, and it's going to bring us back to the to the main Fire Stick screen. Okay. So now we're going to try to record with it. Once it's all hooked up properly and you see it's recognized your USB flash drive, just hit the record button on here. It just as REC, it's right here. Click on it, and you'll see up here that it says recording. 
So right now it's recording everything, everything you see on the screen. So I'm going to scroll down here. Scroll back up. Um, let's play something. I have, I've recently played CBS News Live. Let's click on that. And you'll see it's recording in the background here. I'm going to click on this and it's going to, going to record. Then I'm going to click out of this, click on the home screen. And once I'm done recording, I'm going to hit the stop button. You'll see it says stop recording there. You may have to press on it a couple of times, but in order for it to, to actually have stopped, you have to see that stop recording prompt come up. So I did have to click on it a couple of times. I might not have clicked on it, you know, hard enough or whatever. So just make sure you give it a nice strong click. Now, in order to watch that playback, you go back to that playback screen, which is what we were on before. So click on playback. And then this screen's going to come up. You're going to scroll over to where it says film. That's where it stores the MP4 files. And then click on, click on the OK button. And this is going to be the file that we just recorded right here. So we're going to scroll over. You'll see it's highlighted in blue here. We're going to scroll over till this is highlighted in blue. Click OK. And then it's going to preview that live feature right in the center here. It shows you some information on it here that it's 1920 by 1080 and uh, and it gives you you know your subtitles are off and it gives you the size of the file in order to play this full screen if that's what you want to do just hit the play button that's right below playback so I click on that and it's going to load it up now here it is I'm not touching the, the fire stick remote this is what I recorded before you can see it looks exactly like my recording and it looks exactly the same as it did when I was playing it live. So it's really, really nice quality, guys. Now, when you want to delete your file, guys, in case you don't want to keep your file, and like in this instance, I'm just showing you how it works. I want to delete this. So I'm going to hit the, the back arrow here. You see it says press the back arrow to browse. Just click on that. And it brings you back to this screen. So once you're back on this screen again, you're going to hit the delete button. It's right below the play button. And that's going to ask you, do you want to delete it? You'll see a red check mark here. Just click OK. And then scroll over to yes. Click OK again. and it's gonna delete that file. You'll see it's gone now. And then we click that back arrow a couple of times and it's gonna bring you back to the uh, Fire Stick home screen. Now you see we're back on the home screen. And uh, you know, up the top here you have the different video sources. So just make sure on the remote um, that you're on the HDMI source when you're recording from your Fire Stick, Fire TV, or other streaming device. And you also see the other video sources here. So if you want to convert from, uh, from your old you know, VHS tapes, your old VCR or something, it's going to have to be on one of those sources. So make sure you've selected the right source. But the other thing that this can do is it does have a scheduling feature, but it is a little wonky. So I think a lot of people probably won't use the scheduling feature because you actually have to set, you know, you have to set uh, the year, the month, the day, the time, etc. So as I said, it's a little bit wonky, but if you want to do that, there's a schedule button on here. You know, click the schedule button and this is, the screen's going to come up. You'll see you can, you can record once every day. Here's your start time your year, your month, your day, your hour, your minute, your second, uh, how long the recording time is, and, and etc. So as I said, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit tough to get through that menu if you really want to set it to record um, something that's coming up in the future, then that's what you're going to have to do. But I think most people are just going to use it to record spontaneously or, if, you know, you can also record 
off your uh, your gaming console. So if you're playing a video game and you want to, you know, you want to edit it down and upload it to YouTube later or on Twitch or something, you can use this box to do that too. It's a great little converter box and it does record everything in, the, in exactly the same quality that you're seeing on your screen. The only downside is, and th this is a downside for those of you that are video files, is it doesn't uh, record in 4K. So it does have the 4K pass through. It will look like 4K. It's not going to interrupt the picture at all. But when it records, it's going to play back in 1080p. So if you're a video file, you will probably notice the difference. Uh, you may or may not. But like I said, it's, it's extremely good quality. So for most of you out there, this is a great little unit and the quality is going to be good for you. So a couple of things that I really like about it is it is very easy to set up. It's very easy to use. Uh, you can take that USB flash drive, you can take it out of the unit, you can go put it in your computer. Um, if you want to save those files for later, let's say you're, you're saving some shows, you want to, you want to keep the MP, uh, MP4 files and you want to stream them to your TV from your computer, or if you have any other home source you want to stream from, you can store them on there. You can do whatever you want with the files. It's really nice digital quality, guys. I think you're really going to like it. So that's the other thing, guys. The, the cost of this particular unit, uh, if you look on Amazon, it's just under $170. I think it was $167.99 the last time I checked. I'm going to leave a link in the description below in case you want to order one. It is an affiliate link, so if you order it through there, it's not going to cost you any more, but it will help me out a little bit and help the channel out if you like this kind of content. So also guys, if you do like this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, smash that like button, and share this video with a friend. Also check out my new second tech channel. I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below. Click on over there, check out some of the videos, see if you like it. If you do, subscribe to me over there. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.